five minutes. Mr. Speaker, a big lie is a political propaganda technique made famous by Germany's National Socialist German Workers' Party. But more on that later. For more than two years, Socialist Democrats and their fake news media allies, CNN, MSNBC, the New York Times, Washington Post, and countless others, have perpetrated the biggest political lie, con, scam, and fraud in American history. Attorney General Barr's executive summary of Mueller's report has publicly confirmed what many of us have known for a long time. The accusations of collusion between President Trump and Russia in the 2016 elections are nothing but a big lie. The Mueller investigation was massive. It, quote, employed 19 lawyers who were assisted by a team of approximately 40 FBI agents, intelligence forensic accountants, and other professional staff. The special counsel issued more than 2,800 subpoenas, executed nearly 500 search warrants, obtained more than 230 orders for communication records, and interviewed approximately 500 witnesses, end quote. After tens of millions of wasted American tax dollars, the finding is succinct, quote, the report does not recommend any further indictments, nor did the special counsel obtain any sealed indictments that have yet to be made public. The investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in its election interference activities, end quote. The Mueller report vindicates President Trump and his 2016 campaign from the socialist, baseless, reckless, and false big lie charges of Russian election collusion. Equally important, there is a converse to President Trump's vindication. Mueller's report confirms that socialist Democrats and their fake news media allies made up non-existent allegations and engaged in the most sordid of fake news big lie propaganda, scam, fraud, and smear campaign in American history. Socialist Democrats and their fake news media allies were shameless, shameless in their big lie scam that has inspired hatred against President Trump and violence against Americans who support America's foundational principles. If socialists and the fake news media had any honor, they would cleanse their souls and atone for their sins by uttering mea culpas and apologizing to the American people for the fraud and scam committed. More likely, however, they will double down and propagate even more big lies because doubling down is essential to big lie theory. In that vein, I quote from another socialist who mastered big lie propaganda to a maximum and deadly effect. Quote, in the big lie, there is always a certain force of credibility because the broad masses of a nation are always more easily corrupted in the deeper strata of their emotional nature than consciously or voluntarily. And thus, in the primitive simplicity of their minds, they more readily fall victims to the big lie than the small lie, since they themselves often tell small lies in little matters, but would be ashamed to resort to large-scale falsehoods. It would never come into their heads to fabricate colossal untruths, and they would not believe that others could have the impudence to distort the truth so infamously. Even though the facts which prove this to be so may be brought clearly to their minds, they will still doubt and waver and will continue to think there may be some other explanation." End quote. Who is this big lie master? That quote was in 1925 by a member of Germany's National Socialist German Workers' Party. That's right, Germany's Socialist Party, more commonly known as the Nazis. The author was Socialist Adolf Hitler in his book, Mein Kampf. Mr. Speaker, America can either learn from history or be doomed to repeat it. When it comes to big lie political propaganda in America, as the Mueller report confirms, America's socialists and their fake news media allies are experts and have no peers. Regardless, America must reject their big lies or succumb to the danger that lurks and horrific damage that results. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. The chair recognizes the gentleman